Hey babes, what's up? So, everything that I am showing in this video are things that I purchased for my um, recovery and for my surgery. Some things I will take to Tijuana, some things I won't. I will do a video afterwards to tell you what I did need and what I didn't need. Um, so, 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 everything. I had to use a filter because, because bitch. These are the vitamins that I took three months before my surgery. My surgery is in five days. I'll tell you what I'm taking right now, but these are the ones that I started three months before. Um, vitamin C, blood builder, blood builder L-arginine, iron, and the prenatal one a day. Um, I actually wouldn't take the prenatal and the iron. Um, I bought the iron when I finished the prenatal, and then I, like when I finished the iron, buy the prenatal and so and so. Um, why I did it like that, I don't know. It's just something that I personally decided to do on my own. Um, L-arginine is good for um, blood flow, uh, for oxygenated blood with all the necrosis that we see. Like, it's kind of scary. So, being in the medical field, um, I've learned a lot about L-arginine. I thought maybe it's something great to add to my, um, my pre-op meds or vitamins. These are also things that I'm going to start or that I started um, before my surgery. The Immune C and the Probiotics. I started maybe two weeks before my surgery um, as well as the Vitamin C. Uh, my son actually got sick, my baby, with the flu. And so what I did is I started doubling up on these things um, because I was scared to get sick myself. The Hooven. I haven't started that. I'm going to start that tomorrow. I am five days away from my surgery and I was recommended to start it four days before and continue it four days after. I may continue it more than four days just depending um, how my recovery is. I did buy two different flavors just in case I didn't like one. There you go. So the probiotics, I found them at Walgreens for $14.99. Uh, but then I went to Ross later on in the afternoon and found the same box for $6.99. I know some people can get it like at Sam's or Costco for like a better deal. Um, the Hooven, I got those at Walgreens for $22.99 each. I thought that was a deal, so I just went ahead and took it. This is what I'm taking now um, just to help boost my immune system because I don't want to get sick. That's my hubby laughing in the background. He's watching some Kevin Hart. <laughs> um, I took the label off of the water. I don't know why. Um, I see some people do it, so I was like, hey, maybe I need to do it. But anyways, um, that is vitamin C immune booster um, with the uh, elderberry. Um, it seems to be working. So thank you to the doll that recommended that. So these are all the things that I purchased. I'll go over pretty much what I can with you guys. You let me know if I'm missing something. I may be missing things, may not. Who knows? These are the gels that I'm going to be using for um, my massages. These were the ones that were recommended, so that's what I purchased. Why do I have two Arnica gels? Because I accidentally ordered an extra. I've ordered so much stuff, as you can see, that I forgot <laughs> that I already had one. Don't do that, so make sure you make a list. I did, but I wasn't referring back to it, so I was like, hey, I don't think I ordered the Arnica. Ordered another one. These are the supplies that I purchased for aftercare. Um, I purchased two suture removal kits just so that I don't have to reuse the other one just in case in the future I have like a spitting suture or something. Um, those are the gauze. I may need more gauze. Those are sterile gauze right at the top. I'm sorry, no, those are Telfa pads. Um, sterile alcohol, prep pads, hand sanitizer, Hypofix, gloves, and cotton tip applicators. Those are sterile. The 
come to that place right over there. So this is, I'll go slow-mo for those that wanna get, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me, message me um, on why I purchased certain things. I may be missing things, it's just so much stuff that I forget. And I have my mama in town. I picked her up yesterday, so I'm so excited to have her here. Like, I'm trying to plan a whole bunch of things with her before I leave. Because I know afterwards, I will be recovering. And I don't want to stress my wings. Alrighty, so that's Medi Honey Gel. I didn't purchase the Maluka or Mark or whatever the hell it's um, called honey I've seen more girls use this for the wounds uh, with the polvos de sopa so hopefully that is sufficient if not I could always order it and get it delivered the next day with Amazon in here these are just my things that I that I got like my normal saline um, alcohol may not be using this much. The hidden pins. Hydrogen peroxide. And the Dakins. I feel that I will be using the Dakins solution more than anything because it's good for um, cleaning versus the hydrogen and the um, alcohol. I've also followed wound care groups that don't recommend this for your wound. They recommend this. So that's what I'm gonna use. And the honey and the bottle de sofa. It's an antibiotic powder. Now remember when you're doing all of this, use your gloves, very important. These are my toiletries. Those are from like those things right here at the end are from recent stay at hotel. So I said, fuck it, I'm taking it. Um, these are just toiletries that I'm gonna take. I'm taking a face mask because I've heard nothing but good things about it. Like when you're feeling very tired and you just wanna relax, putting that on your face while you're resting just makes you feel even better so i'm just gonna take it just to try it in case i feel restless or just need to feel a little relaxed Alrighty, so that's my bobby pillow i did buy a water resistant cover for it just in case it i bleed and i don't want to stain it or whatever um i did buy a binder so that when the faja's too tight, I take it off and I'll use this. I'm kind of worried about the faja maybe um, being too tight and hurting the incision. So I got that. Um, the ab board, lipofoam, and my BBL pillow. I mean, my BBL, yeah, my BBL pillow. So that's that. Alrighty, I did purchase a hot pad for back pain. Um, I got these at the dollar store. I got about seven of these. Got a thermometer just to make sure I'm not running a temperature. I did order two of the stockings just in case one got dirty. I could use the other one. That, uh, the pill box, I got that at the dollar store. My mama brought me this that I can use and check my blood pressure. Um, these are for my belly button. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it, I'll see. And of course, the displometer. I did wanna talk about these because I know how important it is to wear these and get the right size. Um, please measure yourself. I did buy myself a 
measuring tape and um, you want to measure yourself, your thigh, your um, calf. It pretty much tells you what, what, um, where to measure on Amazon or wherever you're going to purchase them at. It is very important that you do get your true size because if you do not, then you won't get the um, effect of it. Um, they are to prevent blood clots. I did work for a vein specialist for some time and I know the importance of wearing compression stockings. I actually do wear my own compression These, oh, it's just like the cloth thing, but these are sick vest and I wear them on a daily basis. These are sports. I pretty much wear them a lot. I wear them usually when I'm working out. So forth. But those are it. How cute. <laughs> Alrighty, so these are the um, wipes that I got myself. I got the Aqua Pure just because they're 99% water. I didn't want any irritation to my skin. I'm so sensitive, guys, so to my skin, like freaking wipes and adhesive and all that crap just messes up my skin um i did get these washcloths i got all these pads i hope this is enough if it's not well then i have to get some more and then poise pads i'm not sure how much i need of this but hey got it my mom brought me these all these thanks to mom's bam also purchased two stratoderm these are great um i actually do work for a dermatologist remotely and um this is some great stuff for scarring so i did purchase two of them look how big they are i'll take before and after pictures as i'm using them and see if you know if it works for me everyone's different so and some neosporin that's just if you know if I have any bacterial infection, I won't use it unless I need to. Alrighty, so let's talk about pain. These are the things that I got for me. Um, I did um, have some medicine left from after my pregnancy and some that I had before. So what I am taking is Zofran for nausea. I am taking um, gabapentin. Um... I was given that for neurological, but it does relax, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use it yet, but I will have it on hand. Hydrocodone for pain, I did get some extra strength Tylenol as well. I have some Tramadol from like a car accident that I got into. Um, so these are all the things that I will be taking. Hopefully it helps. Some lidocaine patches as well some gummies mama hooked it up with some gummies so i'm lightweight guys like these are some other things that i got that i didn't talk about um some hauls to help with the coughing rollades i did get some tums too i don't know where i left them but i gotta look for them but i do have them and then some iron I'm not going to start this before my surgery. I'm going to do it afterwards because it does have alcohol. And as you guys know, alcohol does thin blood. So um, if some people took it before, then that's fine. You didn't have any complications. That's fine. I'm just taking precautions. You don't have to follow what I do. Um, I'm just letting you know how, how my suggestions um, and what I'm going to do for my recovery. Alrighty, so this is the Dow antibacterial soap I got for my house. I'm not taking this with me to Tijuana. I am going to take um, hand sanitizer with me. These are Sanicos. So um, in the medical field, we do use these. These are awesome. I ordered them on Amazon. As you can see, look at everything. Effective against bacteria, drug-resistant bacteria, viruses, bloodborne pathogens. We use this to clean all of our exam tables. So I was like, hey, I'm taking that. I'm going to clean everything in the hotel room and anything that I touch. Dow soap. got two to take, two to leave. 
and then these containers so that you know just store the soap in and doesn't like touch everything else so that's that Alrighty, so I did get a sheet pee. There it is here. I've heard some girls use like the cone that you use to like make protein shakes and that's worked for them, like a tunnel or a funnel, whatever it's called. This right here, I just kind of thought of this my own damn self. I'll do a video and see if it works, but instead of buying a seat razor for the toilet, I got this. I'm gonna see if it again if it <laughs> if it works. It was only four bucks. So I was like, why not? It's pretty thick, and you don't have to sit on your ass. My restroom is pretty small, or with the area that I use the restroom. So hopefully, I don't need like a rail. Maybe I could just hold on to the wall. We'll see. I got this just in case I can't get all the way down, so I could use the restroom. I know it sounds kind of gross, but to boo boo in case I'm having trouble or even to urinate I don't know I just bought it it's a dollar at the dollar store so I was like why not actually no I bought this at Walmart for a dollar it's pretty thick as you can see that there goes my hand this right here I also got the dollar store it's two for a dollar when I had my babies I would fill this up with water and squeeze it to clean my booty and my my vaginal area and it works so i was like shit why not get it because you can't reach back there just kind of squirt squirt some spray walmart spray that poochie or that private part i don't know if i could say that on youtube damn it but these are the things that i got hopefully it works we shall see Alright, these are miscellaneous items that I purchased. That's the big jug so that the nurses don't have to come back in and be bothered about giving me water. This is a Reacher. Some Aquaphor. I use Aquaphor for everything, so I just got it just in case. This is a measuring tape. Um extension cord, notepad, take notes, or you could use your phone. Um, these are containers and then a massager. I ordered my own massager. It hasn't came in yet, um, but I will show you guys how I massage once um, I've had surgery. And what else have I ordered? I do have a walker with the seat so that I don't get tired while I'm in the airport or around the house. That is my grandma's walker. Do my gravity chair. I did buy everything that I needed in here. So can take it. That's so that it doesn't hurt my booty. There's a box cutter in there. My husband is going to help me with it. So, we'll see how that goes. So I did purchase the pregnancy pillow, here it is, to help with the comfort of sleeping and sitting. It's my little cubby, I need to buy another one because I have so much stuff that's packed. And then there, and then that's my beautiful mama, say hi mommy. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one that's going to be taking care of me while I have my surgery, I mean after surgery, recovery. My husband will take care of me with my nurse in Tijuana for seven days. And then afterwards, my mama will be taking care of me. Alrighty.
All right, lady. So this is the sweet beet blood builder recipe. You do two large beets. I did get my nut sprouts with the roots. I'm gonna try to do it with the roots, blend it with the roots. Um, and you do three large carrots, half of a green apple, and it does call for parsley, but I don't like parsley, so I'll did, I substitute it for um, some spinach. I'm gonna blend all this together. I am drinking this four days before my surgery and with the Hoven and the iron. This will be my natural blood builder. I'm praying that my hemo just does stay up after my surgery. I'm trying to do my best so that I don't need a transfusion. There goes my pineapples for after surgery. And I do drink a lot of infused water to help. And there you go. I will post a picture of what it looks like blended afterwards. All right, babes. So I did not like the one that I made. So my mom made one for me. I know you cannot see the beets in there, but it's filled with beets. She added some strawberries to give it flavor because that shit tasted like dirt. So there it is. Mama's going to blend it for me. So that concludes the video girls um that's the things that i bought for myself for my recovery um you girls can use it for some tips i did that's what i did i went on youtube pinterest groups and pretty much got tips from girls that have been through this process jeez look at my freaking hair um <laughs> okay Motherfucker. Whatever. I will post a video afterwards to let you guys know if, you know, everything that I purchased I did use or not. I know it's a lot. I'm not going to take all of this to Tijuana, just what I think I need. And I will let you girls know. Thanks, babes.